Aboraboye. So, you know, over the years, uh, I've noticed two very interesting trends uh, within Orisha lifestyle. They, they, they fall on two ends of the spectrum, both extremes, both equally exploitative and manipulative and dishonest when it comes down to, you know, you as the seeker, as the, the person who's aspiring to experience another level of spiritual development or self-discovery. On one end of the spectrum, you got people who are selling spiritual materialism. They're, they're telling you that beads, pots, and titles will solve all your problems. All you need is another set. You know, any, any, any problem you have, just get another set of beads, another set of pots, another set of titles, make another sacrifice, get some more medicine. You know, and they're just selling, 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 selling. And, they're, you know, they're not promoting any change, any kind of personal development. It's, it's just get the stuff, right? And, and that's a problem, right? It's, that's exploitation. On the other end of the spectrum, you have people who, who lean to the total opposite. And they'll tell you that essentially, no, there are no rules. There is no real priesthood. Uh, there are no taboos and there is no structure. All you need to do is, is follow your heart, follow your spirit. And, you know, go out to where the deities are. If you want to supplicate Ashun, just take honey out to the river and, and you just give it to her. If you, you want to work with Eshu, you just go to the crossroads and you, you take him what he wants. And Ogun and Shongono Batala, you know, you don't need all of this formal training and, and, and initiations. And, you know, you don't need to be confirmed with any kind of priests. All that is, that's the patriarchy. That's, that's dogma. That's religion. That's, that's control of the masses, right? Those people are, are lying. They're just lying just as much as the people who are selling you stuff. They're lying. The, the, these are people who are trying to exploit a, a situation for whatever reason. I don't know what you know they're going to get out of it. or Maybe they're going to try to sell you something too at the end of the day. I don't know. But I can tell you that that is a very dishonest position to take. Okay? And I'm going to tell you why. Because... I have faced the situations where, for example, um, a colleague sent me to a client. I didn't know what the situation was. I walk in, I talk to the the, uh, the woman, and she she tells me, you know, her husband has been kidnapped. Okay, real talk, true story, true story. Her husband has been kidnapped. And I cast Ifa, and as Ifa is describing the situation accurately, give thanks to Orumila for being able to give the message. But as Ifa is describing the situation, the kidnappers call, and the woman is just hysterical on the mat in front of me because they're giving her times and they're telling her consequences. If you don't come, we'll come up with this by this time, this is what we're going to do. If you don't come with this by this time, this is what we're going to do. True story. Right? That's not a time for me to be going to the river with, you know, sunflower petals and, and, and honey and asking Ashun for, for favors or taking candy to the corner with to, to give to Eshu. No. You you need a, a real recipe for change at that moment because you're working against the clock. Okay? And so you know, but but on the other end of the spectrum, you may not need all that if you're just coming home from work and you know there's like a, a funk the energy is stagnant you don't need to cons consult you fine get a, a big old whole set of pots for that you know what i mean yeah maybe smudge in your house and burning a candle that's that's more than enough right it's more than enough and so we got to have context is what i'm trying to say we got to have context we can't just apply these universal rules without understanding what the situation that a, a person is facing. So when you as the client or you as the patient, you get online and you ask a question and you get these you know, diametrically opposing uh, views and opinions, it's important that you understand, number one, who's giving that opinion? What's the basis of what they're talking about? Is this person uh, an admin at the city college who, you know, a couple hours a, a, a week, 
burns candles and sage and 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 goes to the river once a month right and they're talking about just keeping peace and harmony and finding your center is is that who you're who's who's telling you about the patriarchy and 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 the, and the, and the the, you know the dogma and all that is that what that person's like you know what i'm saying that's the the most severe situation that they're dealing with is the energy in their house okay not that it doesn't matter but you need to know that's who you're talking to likewise on the other end of the spectrum the person who's trying to convince you to to, to get initiated to everything under the sun you got to know who you're talking to who is this person why why are you trying to sell me the, the, all these different uh, ingredients Right. What's your motivation? You got to discern that, okay. And now I'm going to tell you my position, un unashamedly. My position is education. I want you to know. I want. I think that the best solution to that problem and being able to discern spiritual materialism and the other end of the of the spectrum, which is just what I would just call sort of a free for all. You need to have a, a proper education about how the tradition really works you got to really have a, a concrete understanding of what the real building blocks are what is this the sort of the spiritual grammar of this tradition right and even more importantly you got to know where you're coming from and where you're trying to go what are your goals what are your aspirations what do you want to achieve through this tradition are you trying to build a house are you trying to, um, you know, take a journey? Are you trying to get married? Are you trying to raise a difficult child? What What is your real goal? What's the most pressing issue before you at this time, right? And then, and how does it point to the big picture about who you want to be and how you want to show up in the world? Those are the, the real questions that you need to grapple with because all the answers and all the remedies and all the different practices that people can suggest one way or another are only going to make sense to the extent that you know where you're going. Okay? It's very, very important. So I, I want to urge you to get educated. I want to urge you to uh, start learning. I want to urge you to start learning and get educated before you have a crisis, before you have a problem, before you know, you're falling off a cliff get an orientation it isn't that hard there's so much information out there but again the the, 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 the information can be you know it can be problematic as well so uh, get organized information take you know classes from reputable priests and priestesses who are actually working the tradition Right? You don't have to do everything that they do. You don't have to become a replica of that person. You don't have to become my, me because you've taken my classes. As a matter of fact, that's the whole point. You can buy all the books, you can take all the classes, and you're not obliged to be anything that I have presented to you. All you have now is a, is, is a, is a well-organized body of knowledge that you can pick and, and, and choose from. You can make informed decisions about what's real and what's not. That's it, right? So education is the first step towards spiritual freedom. And if you don't have spiritual freedom through Orisha lifestyle, then I honestly, I think you can't call it Orisha lifestyle. If it's not facilitating your freedom, then it's, it's not the tradition. It's something else. Aboru, aboye, aboshishe.